Hello guys, this is the section from Perceptron to Artificial Neural Networks. This section will provide an overview of the structure and training of small, feed-forward artificial neural networks. Scikit-Learn implements neural networks for classification, regression and feature extraction. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with non-linear decision boundaries. In this video we'll see how to create an XOR gates using other gates. While some Boolean functions, such as AND, OR, AND, NAND, can be approximated by the perceptron, the linearly inseparable function XOR cannot, as shown here. Let's review XOR in more detail to develop an intuition of the power of AN, and contrast to AND, which outputs 1 when both its inputs are equal to 1, and OR, which outputs 1 when at least one of the inputs is equal to 1, the output of XOR is 1 when exactly one of its inputs is equal to 1. We can view XOR as outputting 1 when two conditions are true. The first condition is that at least one of the inputs must be equal to 1. This is the same condition that OR tests. The second condition is that the inputs cannot both equal 1. NAND tests this condition. We can produce the same output as XOR by processing the input with both OR and NAND, and then verifying that the outputs of both functions are equal to 1 using AND. That is, the functions OR, NAND, AND, AND can be composed to produce the same output as XOR. Instead of trying to represent XOR with a single perceptron, we'll build an AN from multiple artificial neurons that each approximate a linear function. Each instance's feature representation will be input to two neurons. One neuron will represent NAND, and the other will represent OR. The output of these neurons will be received by a third neuron that represents AND, Test that both of XOR's conditions are true. With this, we reach the end of this video.